let's get over to running backs here with uh, and start with Melvin Gordon. So uh, as we know, uh, the Broncos did acquire uh, Russell Wilson, uh, you know, right after or basically right in the middle of Tuesday. So uh, does Russell Wilson, Drake, improve the odds of Gordon uh, being re-signed by the Broncos, knowing that the team uh, with that acquisition is now looking to compete right now versus uh, playing into the future? I, I'm sure for uh, Melvin Gordon's sake, he'd like to because they, they just got a lot more attractive. But I've got a different contender who I think he would mesh well with. And that's the Buffalo Bills. Now, we've heard for years now Buffalo has been trying to get someone else in here to play running back for them. They even brought in the corpse of Matt Breida this year. But if you look at the Bills, Devin Singletary led the way this year, 870 yards seven touchdowns. And of course, Josh Allen, he's got 122 attempts. He ran for over 700 yards. Now you can look at Melvin Gordon, 900 yards this year, eight touchdowns. Plus he has four years with 40 plus receptions. Here's a guy that you can expand this Buffalo offense with. You don't have to start taking guys off the field anymore. He can go out there and really play. If you're in the two minute, he doesn't have to come off the field. Uh, like, you know, Zach Moss, and, and Singletary, how they kind of had to interchange each guy out there. Melvin Gordon, I think, would be a really good asset and a change of pace from Singletary in Buffalo, and he got a good chance to win a ring. Yeah, I like it a lot. I mean, I know we're in a time crunch at this point, so I will say mine, and I think he should go back to Broncos for pretty much the same reasons that Drake just said, except that he's already been there. And, you know, if you – we talked about Bill Belichick a second ago, how, you know, He's one of the greatest coach, coaches in the league. He's been using two backs for 20 years now. You know what I mean? No guy has had both 20, uh, 20 200 rushes and 35 plus receptions since he's been the coach. I think that he should, you know, the Broncos aren't going to find a better, cheaper, older guy. And this guy knows the system and they're trying to win. I think he should just go back. You know what I mean? Like it, it sucks for Javante Williams, but the Broncos don't care about having the best fantasy running back at all. You know what I mean? They care about having healthy running backs, which Melvin Gordon helps that. So I think that's where he should go. Yeah, I I'm, I would say I would say he sticks with the Broncos too. I mean, you know, as everybody wants Javante season, but you know, as far as a winning football team, I mean, the NFL almost demands that you have more than one capable running back right now, and that's right now Gordon is still plenty capable, you know, receiving and rushing. Um, to pair with Javante Williams. I mean, both were fine in fantasy. I mean, Gordon is is still fine as far as an NFL running back. He's not dead, you know, as much as I wanted to say he was dead last year because I wanted it to be Javante season. I, I think people are going to have to wait if they have him certainly in dynasty, um, you know, but like this move with Russell Wilson shows that they want to accelerate that timeline on uh, wanting to be a contender. They've got a tough division to do it in with the Chargers and Chiefs there. Um, you know, the Chargers are on the cusp of the playoffs. The Chiefs obviously being, uh, you know, a fantastic team. But, I mean, Gordon certainly gives the Broncos a no You've got Nathaniel Hackett. You got Justin Outen there coming from Green Bay, who just has been running a two back system with Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon. So, you know, they're going to be running that Shanahan McVay kind of system in Denver. And you have two ready-made running backs. If you can convince Gordon to come back, you know, it's going to benefit both of them. And it's going to, you know, I think that that kind of system is, is going to work out certainly well to at least compete in the AFC West. And, you know, I think they will be the one division that does get three teams in again. Well, so I'm going to kind of piggyback off what you said, Kev, about how one team just can't have one stud running back, right? And hear me out. I think he's going to go back to the Chargers. We all know that Eckler is the number one running back in L.A., but who was behind him last season? You have Justin Jackson, who had that one great game, but a lot of that was garbage time. Then you have Larry Roundtree, Josh Kelly. Like, they all pretty much struggled when Eckler was out or needed a break last season. And I think the Chargers are backed up against the wall. Now that Russell Wilson has come in. They know that they need to compete. They need every position, including backup positions, to be stacked. Um, the Chargers ranked fifth in pace of play in 2021. So even if Gordon is in a backup role, that's 10 to 15 touches a game. I mean, he averaged 15 touches a game in Denver. And I think he gets an upgrade here because the Chargers have a better offensive line. So I think that if he were to go back to the Chargers, he would still remain fantasy relevant and probably put up better numbers. 
That would be wild. The Chargers do have a ton of cap space, even with the Mike Williams franchise. So I would forty three and a half million. Yeah, forty three and a half million. So I could. I mean, that'd be crazy. But the thing was, I think it was a little contentious when he left. So there'd have to be a lot of um, you know fancy dinners when they uh, when they figure out that deal. You know, it's you gotta gotta unburn some of those bridges. I think. Man, but they weren't even really like in contention for the championship back then. Now that they are, I think they were. They'd be willing to overlook a little bit of that uh, that mouthing. Yeah, I mean that would be a great landing spot for him, no question. Yeah, for sure.